Hello everybody and welcome to the Creator Sim uh, CC upgrade. So basically I decided that I wanted to start playing with CC again so I put in all of my custom content into uh, this game and started playing with this household with custom content and I went and gave them all a makeover. Um, I also gave Jessie a makeover, Jessica, and um, I added some vitiligo to her and just gave her a new hairdo. I don't think I changed anything else on her, but I'm just having a look at some of my afro texture hair that I have in my game or my ethnic hairs that I have in my game. Um, I did end up actually going and adding some new ethnic hairs. Um, honestly, if you want more ethnic hairs or just more diversity in your game in general, um, Ocean Sims, she does really amazing CC showcases and hauls where she shows off some really cool ethnic hairs and just amazing everything for your sims that kind of diversifies your game in many different ways. Um, but yeah, as I say, I did end up actually going and changing Christy's hair because um, I did download some more hairs. Thank you to... Um, Thank you to McGraw Ocean for showing me some really cool packs to get. Um, so yeah, I'm just going and adding eyelashes to her, uh, all of her outfits and making sure that her hair is consistent throughout them all and adding some gloss to her lips on all of her outfits. Um, I wanted something a little bit different so she's like slightly, slightly different each day and then gave her some more fall appropriate outfits um, with yes, yeah, some like mom jeans and a, a nice coat. I relatively kept her shoes the same. I actually think I kept her shoes the exact same in all of her outfits. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie, I do have regrets on a few of these outfits. But I didn't actually go with one that I had clicked on, um, but yeah. Um, I thought a crop top for a 30 year old mom is a little bit too cringy considering she's got three children but that's why I didn't go with that one but I did use that one for a Myers. Um, and yeah I, I, I did end up using like some of the things I clicked on that I did like I felt like were a little bit too youthful for a mum so I went and changed it up to give them to Amaya instead so yeah if you do see anything that you like please rest assured that I may be giving them to Amaya later down the track uh, but yeah just I really like this fluffy little jacket thing um, and in terms of her formal wear I just gave her this cool um, not this one not this one I don't think it was that one either that's right, pantsuit, cool pantsuit and um, aesthetic. I just added a new one, um, tied her hair back and gave her like a tied up t-shirt, pike shorts and got rid of the socks. I felt like the socks were a bit much now. Um, so yeah, I would say that Christy's age here is about 30 to 35, maybe 36. Um, I will be aging her up to an adult soon though because you know as she approaches 40 yeah but that would be actually I, I'm gonna leave that because that's when Amaya will be aging up to a young adult is when Christy's aging up to a adult so um, yeah I wanted to find the matching shirt for this I believe it may have actually been um, either missed when I downloaded it or it was actually a, a uh, underwear top so I, I ended up actually giving her the Delegrissi pack like sports bra which was a close enough green um, now I will try to add all of the custom content for the final looks that I gave uh, if you do have any questions for maybe one that I had gone through at one point during it I can try to track that CC down and and link it for you 
but uh, good luck. <laughs> it can be really hard to track down CC if you've got as much in your game as I do. So yeah, now well, here we are with a Maya. I just wanted to give her a really cute, like subtle, just clear gloss because at this point she was about 13. So yeah, I ended up, you'll see, um, a couple of episodes after I had done this um, overhaul update on them, she ended up losing the preteen trait, so she just became like a standard teenager. So I give her a little another makeover in a little bit, um, just to keep them all on one thing, um, and that way the after pictures all made sense as well. So yeah, this is this makeover for a Maya only lasted a couple of days, but for the most part the outfits all remained similar I think when I updated her later on anyway um, yeah and I wanted to give her like a, a still like looking like a 13 year old wearing a nice dress to go out kind of dress for her formal wear um, I didn't want to add anything too fancy because yeah but I also didn't want to add anything too childish um, we just gave her some basic earrings and that lovely striped dress for a party wear, this one for a swimwear, and yeah, and Mary, we didn't have any hairs for Mary at the time, but uh, I do believe I ended up changing, yeah, I did end up changing her hair later on too, because I downloaded some more. Now um, we just added some more, like, fall appropriate outfits for her. And then Jada, I didn't have any custom content for infants, so I didn't change anything, I just went and did their teeth. Um, I love that um, Mary actually already had those black teeth, so I left them on for her. Gave some braces to Amaya, and a gap tooth for Christy. And here we are. This is Christie's hair update after I downloaded some more hairs. So we're just having a look at the new hairs that I got. You can treat this like a like an overall overview, I guess. I'll just really quick click through of all of the hairs that I got. Um, I believe I ended up going for a short one. Yeah, I went for a short one. I just can't remember with this one. This one. This one I went with. Yeah. Um, I was trying to look for a short, cute ethnic hairstyle for the formal wear, and then I'm like, nah, let's just be honest, she breads through some extensions for her formal wear, and I guess for her athletic, because I forgot to go through and change that later. Amaya, I wanted to keep with the buns, so I did end up doing that, but I gave her like a longer formal hair as well, like long and then down formal hair. Um, yeah, and put it up in a bonnet for her um, sleepwear. Um, and a little scrunchie for her party wear. Dun 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 dun. And then, there we go. The following makeover took place over a couple of episodes in the future. I just wanted to put all together. This is about 15, age 15 for Amaya. Um, and I decided that I wanted to make her a little blondy blonde. So I gave her like the roots, like it's still growing through her roots, but then changed her hair color to blonde. I know it don't look great. I might change it. Um, yeah, I might change it because it really doesn't look that great. But yeah, so trying to find something kind of cute we're also going into winter, so something winter appropriate, um, and adding all the root regrowth into all of her outfits now. Um, but, but yeah, so you know, at this point, I'd say that Mary, sorry, not Mary, <laughs> Amaya is about 15 going on 16. Um, so I still want to keep that funeral outfit, I don't know why, I just feel like it might come in handy to have a funeral outfit in the future. Um, 
and it was her prom dress as well which we will see in a few episodes and her aesthetic wear something really simple just a, a shirt and leggings like a jumper and leggings yeah so relatively the same just like a high waist bikini and like sports bra toppy thing for a bikini um I'm just going through and adding all the roots to her outfits. And eyelashes as well. Making sure that I have given her the right eyelashes for all of them. And I went through and got some hair for Mary as well. So I'm just adding that in. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure. But I did end up going for one of the ones that's got like the bits hanging out of the braid of the buns. Um, just like I don't know. I feel like not unruly. Unruly is not the word, but just it would be. I would imagine hard to maintain a young girl's hair if she doesn't want to sit still, and Mary is not the kind to sit still. So here is Christy. Please ignore the little um, trait stuff that we've got down the side. I was just trying to take the pictures, but using the reshade screenshots, I can get all the colors and stuff right. So this is Christy's look. We love it. We love it. This is Amaya's look. Blonde, bomb, bombastic, girly. Cute, cute, cute. We love to see it. Yes, Queen. And Mary. Cute, cute, cute. And there's no photos of Jada because I don't have any updates for her. But yeah, that's all. Thanks, guys. I love you all.